Hello and welcome to Where the Living Room Used to Be, a podcast about Rhode Island's music scene. tapes you have a song called film the police and uh you know we're talking on may 29th um you know with everything that's happening i mean it's it happens way too often but um you know there seems to be bubbling up with what's happening in minnesota right now um just kind of wanted to get your um you know how that that song came about how you know just with it being like hyper relevant to like literally today, you know, with just, I mean, the, the officer was arrested today, you know, yeah. uh, um, for that crime, you know, so, um, what brought that on? Um, so yeah, I, I mentioned my activism track from the open the mice project to no more. And I had always had this kind of like tension between art and activism within myself of uh, being pretty critical of a lot of political art because in the world of poetry slam, (laughs) there's a lot of uh, what we call like bumper sticker rap or, you know, like feel good things that feel good to say. And that will always get you a little pop. If you say like, fuck George Bush, fuck Donald Trump. And that'll always get, yeah, that'll get, that'll get you a cheer in every bar around the world. Um, but, you know, have you actually affected anything? Have you actually changed anything or done anything was always my critique. And so I was unwilling to do, or I did, I really didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be that kind of artist. And so my activism work was just my activism work and kind of until really house of bees volume two. Um, and I think weirdly the, the instance in my life, my dad died while I was on tour in 2010, uh, he had, he was diagnosed with cancer just as the tour was starting. And so I, it was a hard year on the road. And when I made house of bees too, I was kind of probably more thinking about my own mortality and just, uh, you know, these releases will be the record of what I believed and who I was. So let me just like put it, state it real plainly and put it out. Um, on just a couple songs. So that's how Which Side Are You On came about. And Film the Police was one that came about after the death of Oscar Grant. Um, He was murdered by uh, cops in Oakland. And his death was caught on uh, cell phone footage. And that was kind of the first one at the time where new information came out. Protests happened as a result of that cell phone footage. And we're talking about a cell phone footage with an activist friend from Boston who was involved in cop watch trainings at the time. And I, I have been protesting police brutality since I was in New York in 1999. The first um, protest I ever went to was on behalf of the family of Amadou Diallo, who was shot 41 times by the NYPD. And that was under Giuliani as mayor. And he really just let his cops run rampant in the cleaning up of New York City. There was also a guy named Abner Luima who was abducted and raped by NYPD officers uh, in the same time period. And um, so those were wild protests. And that was my, and when I came to those protests as like a 18 year old kid, most deaf was at that protest on a bullhorn speaking. And I was at the time I had just moved to New York and uh, Rockus records was like dominating in the world of underground hip hop and most deaf was at the protest. And I was like, yes, this is it. This is what Mm -hmm. uh, hip hop should be doing right now. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I was in from that point. um, And so I had been working as an activist, but then when film the police happened, we were, (laughs) I think it was just a conversation with uh, that same friend, Madge of honor, who she said, you should remake fuck the police and call it film the police. I was like, we could do that. And uh, (laughs) that was, we just did it. Uh, yeah. I reached out to Toki Wright from Minnesota and uh, just Siri X from Pittsburgh. Buddy Peace from the UK remade the beat. Sage jumped on the intro, did the Dr. Dre part. Um, <laughs> and we released the song and it just turned out that in the interim, 
just as we were about to release the video, the Occupy movement jumped off. And suddenly all these white kids were getting beat up by cops in parks around the country and being videotaped. And there was a lot of that footage. So that footage ended up in the video and the video just went viral and Michael Moore shared it and a bunch of big accounts shared it and film the police became a hashtag um, that people are still using many of whom have not heard the song. And that to me was success in political art because it wasn't about, um, you know, creating like a, like a, an altar to stand on and say like, look at me, follow me is the opposite of that. It was like, here's one thing you can do. Here's a useful idea. Um, take it, separate it from the song. It's a useful idea. Here's, and, uh, and so that was kind of an aim for political art. Uh, and yeah, um, to see what's happened in Minnesota with George Floyd. Minnesota was the first city outside of Providence in New York that I traveled to to perform. I went there for the National Poetry Slam with Sage that first year and met uh, Slug and Idea and a bunch of the guys from Rhyme Sayers and was welcomed to Minnesota by them and have been welcomed in Minnesota ever since. Played more shows than I can even remember there and spent weeks there at the friend's house. Minnesota is really like a second home for me. So Mm -hmm. I'm really, really thinking about everybody I know out there in the Twin Cities. And yeah, it's heartbreaking. It's always heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking every time. Uh, It's crazy to think that Film the Police came out eight years ago. Uh, Eric Garner was murdered five years ago. And, you know, we were were on the Brooklyn Bridge in New York chanting not one more five years ago. so, and at, at this moment, especially when COVID has in particular decimated black and brown communities worse, uh, when prisons are, you know, at the verge of becoming, you know, mass graves. And, you know, there's so many emergencies within the justice system. Uh yeah, I'm absolutely with the people rising up, protesting in the streets. Uh, I've seen videos of people who are clearly agent provocateurs and look like cops smashing out the auto zone windows. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I've seen the St. Paul police while out. I was there. Um, it was the RNC, one of the George Bush <laughs> re-election, to, or maybe that was the John McCain one in St. Paul. Um, I played a show there with Dead Prez and Rage Against the Machine and Iself, and it was broken up by state police. There were snipers on roofs, and this was a like a peaceful protest. Like kid, you know, Minnesota kids are very nice. <laughs> by and and Minnesota, eh? You know? you know, they were making like peace signs out of flowers in the yeah, grass. Yeah. And I was like, That's a lot of snipers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they they took out an insurance policy before the the convention even started against civil liberties violations and they because they just knew they were arresting journalists they were kicking in people's doors before the protest even started people who had been arrested at previous protests um wow. it's act, actually folks who are from minnesota refer to that minnesota nice thing as the source of minnesota's racism because that minnesota nice thing is a reputation everywhere else but within minnesota it's referred to as like oh yeah they're nice to your face but they're real racist when it comes down to it so they're, they're oh, okay. really, yeah, there's a long history of tension with the cops of, uh, you know, Philando Castile a couple of years ago, mm-hmm. or maybe even less. Uh, yeah, it's just a constant drumbeat of police murdering black people. Uh, and nothing seems to really happen until some buildings burn. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> and that's the American way. That's not the choice of anyone in the street. Um, no. certainly pe- people would like to be at home right now, <laughs> safe. And, you know, instead they're making the choice on whether to get out and put their bodies on the line, mm-hmm. uh, standing up for what's left of civil liberties in America. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, incredible to see a song that you made, you know, years ago. I mean, it, it's, um, so ridiculous and um, unfortunate that this is still happening. Um, but just that, uh, you know, great example of how music can be a mechanism to, 
spread a message and also kind of pull some people together, you know, and, and like what you were saying that it was, you know, turned the other way that it wasn't written. Like I came up, I came up with a hashtag, <laughs> let's write a song yeah. about it, you know, um, <laughs> but uh, it was something that has this other message and that it was, I um, mean, it's a powerful song. Yeah. Um, in, in my years of being like real critical of political art, I, I came across protest songs in South Africa that were, that everyone just knew the song and they would like link arms when the police mm -hmm. were advancing at them and songs like that songs by Pete Seeger, which side are you on is one of those songs for sure. Yeah, yeah. That, um, as I perform it around the world, if in, in Ireland, people come up to me like, we know that song, that song is related to this. And that mm -hmm. like that same song has been repurposed by activists in different instances all around the world, you know? Um, so that power of music to bring people together and like, create solidarity for sure uh yeah. yeah i think that's human on a real basic level yeah yeah right about now the sfr court is in full effect judge sage presiding in the case of the people versus the police department prosecuting attorneys are totally right just see x and be motherfucking dolan Tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You goddamn right. Don't want you to tell everyone what the fuck they have the right to do. Film the police, run a tape for the underclass. Get the face, name and number on the badge. They flash, we flash back when they act disorderly. React accordingly, and capture all that we see. Nice shit, zip ties and tasers. Think your license for tight vicious behavior. Make a tight miss with the video train or the pig like this. He tripping, you make a Explain to a judge the bounty won't be stepping. 2011, time to change our method. We aiming lenses at the state's weapon. Today, remember whose goddamn streets they're protecting. Yeah, they'd rather see me in a cell than me and myself with a different story to tell. Can't pull that by the dash next time you get stopped. Reach for the cellar if you wanna shoot a cop. On the public sidewalk, you could take what you see. A film from your window with the view of the street. Neighborhood crime watch, we police the police. Uh -uh. They can't arrest the whole community because the streets clock these cops. Occupying blocks, harassing the homeless with batons and pulling blocks. They stop lawful protests and let off shots. Abuse prostitutes and misuse power they got. In memory of the victims who were never forgot. We gotta exercise our right to shed light in the dark. There is an army on the march that doesn't want you to watch. You got a weapon in your pocket, whether you know it or not. We the people are the only real media we got. Let's protect one another from the fucking goon squad. Fascism coming to the USA. Hey yo, Sage, I got something to say. Film the police. Film the Film, film the police. Film the police. Film, film, film the police. Film the police. Film, film, film the police. 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 It's time to make it our priority. You see these fools are an abuse of their authority. Crack a fist or you crack a whip. But that ain't power, you coward. You beat a man with two shackle wrists. So put their names up on a list next to an asterisk. Next time you see them blast a clip, then you flash a flick. Attach a video with pick to your master list. Be on the news at six. YouTube views legit. The cops watch it, so we gotta have the cop watch it. Been a fair law so long, so now it's not awkward. But what is law when it's wrong? When you slam us on the floor? No, this ain't world wrestling entertainment raw. This edutainment, y'all. Got a call from B. Dolan. You try to squat with Johnny Long, get your meat swollen. Why you think Bobby and Huey P with heat holding? You better load the footage up and get the key stroking and while you at it send one off to the administration it's indicating all the physical intimidation it's been too long they said it bear with us that's why i run up on your caravan and rip off all your dead stickers this here's being hit this with it and some mere tickets you feel privileged till your wife get a brazier lifted you disappear quick as hopper if you piss a copper off until you get a channel 7 news helicopter violence hides in a cold silence tyrants hiding in the lines quiet or be left somewhere swept inside it's goliath versus a bigger giant got us pulling over so far we Ran a curve and hit a hydrant. It's systematic how the system has it. Symptoms of the democratic law that's been flawed since the pilgrims landed. So now tell me what you're going to do. Next time you see the poison blue, you cock your camera back and point the shoot. Film the police. Film, film, film the police. Film the police. Film, film, film the police. Film the police. Film, film, film the police. 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 I got the cannon 7D, highest definition for when they try 
trying to arrest and lynch them Then lie and protest the whip and I serve and protect They victims, they murder with threats and hitmen Observe them and let the witness be the iPhone Never let bygones be bygones Get your flip cam for they get in the whip and ride on It's vital, cause our survival could depend on the video Going viral with more viewers than American Idol Instead of having to bury a child who The cop shot cause they thought he carried a rifle Them same cops will go to court and swear on the Bible The smile to show the teeth that they preparing to lie through Whether crypts or pyro, fight falls and gates of disciple Make sure your camera lens gets an eye full And they liable to try and confiscate it Better hold on to that shit like you constipated Cause don't pretend them injuries were not related Like when we arrived we saw them dive head first off the pavement So keep the minicam stashed in the dash of your minivan Cause they'll flash and smash on any man Pull out your Blackberry Cause cops will take a shot at your Blackberry Till they see another Blackberry Don't act scary cause they'll empty the gad on you Then stand over your body just to sprinkle the crap on your Police attack and you don't wanna see their reflections like Dracula of a camera capture. You're too busy using your flashlights to back to us to notice John Singleton was my passenger. So point click and shoot their asses. It's the only way to get the real truth to the masses. Just serious, I'm making movies like Spike Lee. I won't be a law and order special victim like Ice T. Film the police. Film, film, film the police.